Welcome to the dark side of the INTP, where I will share with you deep wisdoms from my book. And you enjoy a fuzzy animal. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking, so there's this one time a long time ago, maybe about, let's see, probably the year of 2014, maybe 15. <laughs> I had mm, kind of a moral break, not moral breakdown. I, I, I was really disappointed with people. I thought to myself, people are stupid. So I wrote about that. And potentially this will um, connect with other INTPs and, and um, other people that are interested in the dark side of the INTP might get a glimpse of kind of a concept of how we view things. Not saying every INTP views this the same way. Um, I'm not saying that this is my viewpoint anymore, but it was definitely me processing some things. So, as I took a whole minute and ten seconds to explain that, let us dive in. People. What about people? Is that too much? The beauty that is to come, but that still is abstract. People caught in the crossfire of good and evil. People are valuable. Find the lost. Fight the good fight until the very end. I'm just kind of, there's like these, these thoughts are kind of in weird sections. And so I'm just kind of processing as I'm going along. People are weird. People are not beautiful. They are interesting creatures with characteristics that entertain, seduce, intrigue, hurt, support, care. But the beauty of people crumbled the moment they were born. Everyone is beautiful is a lie. The most beautiful in appearance are ugly. People are ugly. They are loud, obnoxious, foolish, irrational, obtrusive. They know what is right, but do the opposite for some stupid justifying reason. In time, they can't distinguish the right from the left, making them hopelessly lost. That does not mean that they are not valuable. But where is the value of people? What makes them valuable? Or is that also a lie? We are born dead, hopeless, worthless, evil. We try our best, we try the best we can. Stop wasting your time. You are corrupted by pride and you will die. I was having a really happy day. That fateful 2015. <laughs> um, what about those who grew up under the heavy hand of someone else's evil? Why are they guilty? Why have, or they have issues, of course they have issues. Is it just to leave those hurt by other people in their corruption? It's not their fault. What is their fault? They need love, support, comfort. Of course they are going to find those things and whatever gives it to them. Those things are full in you, meaning God, but what keeps them from resting in you? Why does it seem like some were made to understand Christ while others are not? Life is hell. It is filled with the corruption of fallen people. I cannot express myself openly, live openly, live life to the fullest because this place is governed by the fallen, consumed by the fallen. Every subject is corrupted. Every outlet is clotted with the fallen. I cannot live the life I could live without a constant battle of morality. Not until I die or my Lord comes. Other people feel the battle but choose to succumb to the culture to live. Who chooses to fight? Everyone is weak. Those who fight are so few. I'm exhausted. I'm surrounded by fools. A constant battle of morality. I'm alone. Those around me hate God or waste their time playing the game. Who is genuine? Who actually cares for their own life? We are worth nothing until we infuse our life with something worthy. Woo. So, anyways, I thought to share that just because that was kind of a dark moment for me in processing just the people around me and my position in life and also, like, how my beliefs interact with other... or just interact with my life and how it makes things difficult in its own way. Um, so, I don't know if that's at all valuable to other people. I will say that, you know, I have overcome those kind of darker moments and I'm not so caught up in trying to recognize the value of people and I'm not someone who's gonna go, you know, murder a whole bunch of people because they're all stupid anyway. But there is a point when you start to try to figure out what you know, what is the true value of people? And why should I value a person when there's so much gunk 
that goes along with with each person and it kind of goes even with that video I made about INTPs being too honest or truthful um, that I posted last Friday anyway um, do you as an INTP or actually other people this isn't just <laughs> INTP things I know other people have dark moments in the mind and I thought to share mine but do you have any dark moments and what's our glimpses or if you want to share the whole thing be my guest it is it is up to you but um, yeah what are some darker things that you've had to try to process and feel free to share them if you feel led to or want to or whatever I'm sure there are other people that would benefit from it hence I'm allowing this to come out and see where it goes and my dog's fat and he decided to snuggle right next to me <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video another life you never know why am I in a garage? Because it's gloomy, and I'm going to be doing a couple different F.E. things. Well, not really F.E. things, but, like, I have a couple poems that I'm going to share also that are just kind of, like, gloomy. So we're in a gloomy place. All right. <laughs> see ya.